Hello guys, now we are going to start learning how to install Git in your local machine. You might be using Mac OS or you might be using Windows. So either way you can able to install Git. Git is very uh, free software that you can install in both Mac OS as well as in Windows. So if you guys are using Mac OS by default it will comes with uh, Apple strips with the binary package of Git with Xcode. Otherwise, if you don't have it, then you can install through Homebrew or Macports. If you are using Windows, you can able to download a uh, installer and you can simply straight forward, you can give next, next and you can choose the path and where you can install it. So if you guys want to uh, know how, what are the command you have to use it, uh, let me pause this video for a minute and then you can uh, watch it over these commands and it is very straight forward to start installing uh, Git on your machine. So the very foremost thing is once you install git in your local machine you are going to start exploring all the git commands first we are going to start by learning all the basic commands okay so before we start doing basic commands once you have git installed you have to start doing some basic configurations so this configuration is nothing but whenever you have git you have to configure saying that whenever you make some change to the kit it has to be uh, understood by others that okay this change has been done by whom right the author of that particular change so that is why you are giving username as Karthik and user email as karthik.punusamit.com Simple like that. So this is for uh, a particular uh, Git repository. If let's say you have four or five projects in your Git, uh, Git projects in your uh, local machine and for every project if you do have to go and do it, it is not possible, right? So for that, for the entire laptop or for the entire machine what you have, if you want to make the global configurations, you can able to do it with the help of hyphen hyphen global. global. Okay. So right now I will show you guys whether I have a git or not. Okay, if you guys see here my screen. Let me clear it off. Let me see where I am. Okay, right now I'm in user CNS. Okay, so the way how I can check always git is git space hyphen hyphen version. Okay, if you see here git version 2.30 which is coming with Apple git. Okay, I'm using Macbook so it comes with Apple git. So if you guys are uh, installing uh, git uh, by following these steps, then after that you will check by git hitting git hyphen hyphen version and make sure that you have git installed in your machine or not. Also if you want to check where it is installed, git which git, it will tell you where it is installed, user bin git. Okay, now if I want to say what is the configuration right uh, to set it up. So what I can do here is I can set up the configuration as a global level or at the each you get repository level so let's start by getting into one of the folder where we are going to have one folder called git basic comments so here i am going to go to the terminal open terminal and then the other one i can close it out okay right now let me clear it off right now let me see where i am okay i am inside this one now i have to first initialize the git okay so for that what i should do git init if you guys see here, the moment I say git init inside this folder, there is a folder created with dot git, right? It is a, like a, a hidden uh, folder, right? So what does it contain? It contains all the configurations, it contains all the objects and references and the head where it is pointed to all the branches and other stuff. Okay, now let's move on. So let's say now we have a git initialized, right? What does it mean? I have just a basic folder called git basic comments and that folder I, I convert into a git folder, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is, now I'm going to say that <coughs> git config user dot name Karthik. Similarly, Karthik dot Pundusami at redsystech dot com, and there is nothing but configuration of user email. Right, let me change this one to user email. That's all. Okay, cool. All right, now I have configured my username and email ID so that, like, whenever I make some changes, then it will be under this name. Now, this is done. If you want to make it global, yes, of course, go forward. 